Do you kids want to know what it's like to, you know, just like that, right? <laughs> hey guys, my name's Mike. I'm an engineering technician for Imagine, and uh, this is my day typically looks like. So the first thing I'll do is I'll check the build schedule to see what displays we're gonna be building that day. I'll take out the correct epoxy, which is in a freezer. We gotta let that thaw out. Then I'll generate some wafer maps, which separate the good dye from the bad dye. I'll grab the first wafer I wanna work on, which is usually the one with the most parts. And then from there, it's essentially rinse and repeat. So this is how the machine works. We're gonna load the PCB into the tool. The epoxy is gonna be dispensed onto the PCB boards. Then it'll get sent over to our second system where the displays are gonna be picked off the wafer and onto the PCB boards. And if all goes well, it should look like this. Mike is building OLED micro displays, tiny screens like the one in your cell phone, except these can pack over 4 million pixels into a one inch square. You'd find them in virtual reality headsets, night vision goggles, weapon sights, and thermal imaging headsets for firefighters. The best part about my job is definitely the programming. Just being able to solve problems and to make a program that fully and automatically die attaches it. I love that feeling. I feel very accomplished. I'm not gonna say that everything is great all the time, but you know, there's never really been a day where I've woken up and been like, oh, I just can't, I can't go to work today. We all get along really well and we all like each other, we laugh a lot. It's a really good dynamic. It's also a plus that the work is enjoyable. I mean, not really much more you can ask for, I guess. So if you're technically minded into electronics and just love problem solving and challenges, I, I think you'd be a good fit.